Child, it's your home girl, your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, Johnny Dimitri. And of course, once again, it is Wednesday, so we are on another episode of Urban Grind Radio. To the left of me, I have a, a very special co-host today. She's she's breaking the ice, Miss Bree Nikhil. I'm going to let her introduce herself so, you know, she can put a little glory on her name. Yeah. <clears throat> What's going on? What's up, y'all? My name is Bree Nikhil, a.k.a. The Secret Weapon. Um, and I'm very excited to be here with my homegirl johnny dimitri we have a good great show for you coming up he can introduce himself to the left of me hey what's going on it's jay shield ceo ceo of the southern coalition movement Jay Shields, Mr. Jay Shields, you are a very special guest. This is my first time that I have to uh, interview you. I know this is like a, your second or, ter- second or third time being here, right? Yeah, I think it's my third. About a third time. I just want to say that I respect your aura. You come off like a boss. Like, I know that you're doing big things in the industry. So I want you to start off by telling me, Basically, because this is our first time. So tell me who you are and what exactly do you do out there? All right. I'm Jay Shields. I'm a promoter, a and You know, I have a company called the Southern Coalition Movement. It's based in more than 30 different states. I have seven to eight royalty-paying radio stations, two nationwide magazines, graphic design company, web, um, all that apps. Um, I have DJs. I'm a certified record breaker. I have a platinum plate of promotion, you know what I'm saying, with Hit the Quan. Uh, my AR with Palm Tree Entertainment. Really a whole lot of stuff going on. For sure. So I heard Hit the Quan, obviously. Big hit. So you saying you got your hands tied in that. You a part of that success. Right, right. Jury on my wall. Come on, tell oh, the wow. story, man. Tell wow. the story. What's up? Man, that? I was sitting back, you know, chilling. Um, my business partner, man, and Mike, he called me and he was like, Hey, Jay, I got this record I need you to get behind. Uh, it's a kid called I Heart. I'm like, All right. He like, Nah, Jay, I need you to get behind the record. I said, Who is I Heart? He was like, The kid that performed a year ago at your award show. He like, We finna go home at Ellen Show in a few minutes. Once we go on this Ellen show, this record finna just go out there and I need you to push it out to um, everybody within your circle. So with that, I just started pushing it out. I played my role and I wind up getting my first platinum plaque, you know what I'm saying? Wow. It's so it's safe to say, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. It's, okay. it's safe to say that we have black excellence in the room. So if we could just clap it up, because we can't, we got to give you your flowers. For like sure, that is absolutely sure. amazing. Um, for sure. Yeah. I know it feels amazing to reap the fruits of your labor. You know what I mean? I know that that's something that comes with hard work. So outside of obviously seeing the gains from what you do, what are some of the pros and cons of being in the position that you are in? Pros, you're able to open up um, doors for everyone else. You know, I consider myself, you know, a person that just try to bring people forward. You know, if you have talent and, you know, a drive, it's a good possibility I might want to work with you. The cons, you just basically can't work with everyone more. You know, wrong temperament. Some artists don't even have their paperwork together. Some, no matter what you tell them, I'm going to listen in a way. So, you know, the pros is you can help people. The cons is a lot of people that want your help don't deserve to be helped. Yeah. So what keeps you going outside of the pros and cons? Like what keeps you going in this? What keeps you mentally and spiritually connected to what you do? All right. You know, with me, you know, I'm a firm believer in the Bible. I believe every word and it's true. So I hang my head on it. It helped me really to start helping people and not to be selfish. It got me out of the streets where I didn't sell dope anymore. I wasn't trying to hurt people anymore. And um, just family, you know, a lot of my family is a mismatch family and we all misfits. So seeing people in certain positions made me obligated 
to try to help because in 2019 I walked away from this you know, I got my house I got everything you know big shot this that and this but the most high let me know that you could be gone in a blink of eye mm -hmm. you sure you did heavy to walk away then I just realized I was being selfish because if I walk away what about everybody else that didn't make it that far so once I decided to come back and everything I was talking to my brother Wally and he was like Man, I need you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And Wally, like my brother, we be on Facebook saying we twins. Mm -hmm. And once he let me know that he needed me and others needed me, I decided not to be selfish and just come back, put others before you put yourself. Sure. That's love. Mm -hmm. So what goals do you have in the next three years? Okay. Well, immediate goals, I have a mixtape series um, called Streets Unlocked. So what I'm doing is um, I'm finna drop 50 albums, mixtapes, or compilations before the end of the summer. And this is just a teaser for next year. Uh, the immediate future, you know, I got an artist called J. Rilla the Great. I'm trying to put him in positions where he can just really provide for his family. Me and him made a deal. You know, once he make it, he was gonna um, get his mom's a house. Um, both his sisters, his sons, and everything else. And then once they straight, he'll take care of himself. That was the agreement we made on top of because to me, that's that's more important. You know, he's very talented. Um, easy learning, getting him where he need to be. Um, Scooby Roo. Each one of them, you can find them on social media at their names. Ed J. Rilla, the great. Um, at Scooby Roo, the great. And at Easy London. To also get DJ Miss Hypnotic uh, out there because she does a lot of stuff in front of this. Um, DJing, singing, rapping, got a boutique and everything else. To get Jasmine, you know, Jasmine Shields to a place where she need to be, where she can take care of her family. And most of all, to get my brother Wally. Wally told me something that touched my heart. He said, until I make a million dollars, I'm going to sleep on the couch. Because I can't be comfortable knowing my family could not be comfortable. And when he told me that, that really made me come back. Because if he got the, um, the guts to put himself through there, I can get out of my comfort zone and um, come back in the system. Yeah, big respect, big respect on that. I had some personal insight on the, the 50 mixtapes. That, right. that you got going on, and it looks bomb. I want to know, I, I pretty much saw all of it. I saw the CDs, I saw the, you know, the flyers, the plug, I saw everything, and I, I know that y'all put a lot into that, you know, so much respect to y'all on that, but I want to know, what was your inspiration behind doing something so big and honestly so helpful? Uh, knowing that no other DJ, um, CEO, a promoter that can come behind me and do the same. Mm -hmm. One, because they don't have the resources. And if they do have the resources, they too selfish to do it. You know, who gonna invest all that in a bunch of people they ain't never met? Mm -hmm. Wally, right now, he's working on the Urban Grind edition. It's gonna be people I never even heard of. But once he's submitted, we pressing it up. We getting y'all the promotional stuff. Y'all gonna be on the radio stations. Like I said, I have royalty paying radio stations. So I decided to do something that the industry won't do because the industry always messing over you all. They want your money, but they don't want to allow you to make it up. You know, I just was hearing this young lady to the next and they sing, and you know, if that's an example of her voice, you know, she sound better than a lot of people I've heard. So why she ain't up there? Is it the politicking? You know, why you just can't have talent and make it? Why just because you have more dollars than the next person, you can be garbage and the radio will play you? Yes, yes. So hopefully with this movement, I can help people like Thought Boy, you know what I'm saying, get to where he needs to go because this kid is good. Mm. He should be everywhere. Yeah, definitely. So only thing that's separating him from making it is this make-believe thing we call money. Mm -hmm. So I teach everybody that money is useless mm -hmm. because that dollar is not faithful. That same dollar that you risk your life for, 
It'll come and just jump in my pocket. Yeah. Then it'll go to that person's pocket. It'll make itself overseas. Mm-hmm. Or you know that dollar in, in Afghanistan, mm-hmm. but you're going to risk your life for it. Mm-hmm. That dollar's not faithful. So if that's what you're basing everything mm-hmm. on and holding people to, um, <laughs> how you just going to uh, have people that can't really get it abundantly like they're going to make it. Mm-hmm. Why can't it be another system? Why can't we barter? Definitely. Why why y'all can't pass out flyers and help me and in return I put my resources behind y'all? Mm-hmm. Why would I ask y'all for an astronomical price and y'all don't even have it? So that's what I'm doing with this. I'm gonna humble the industry and get good music mm-hmm. out here. Most definitely. Most definitely. I really like your style. And it seems like you are um, you know, a man of many words, just very open minded. So I want to know, is there any goals that you have outside of music? You know, is there anything else that you got up your sleeve that you, you know, you know, want, want to throw out there? You know, whatever my immediate circle have is my goal to support them. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the hypnotic with the beautician uh, stuff and the DJ and uh, Jasmine, she want to eventually have a cleaning service and everything else. I'm going to help her do it. Wally, we finna... Um, not remake, but um, put the power punch behind Urban Grind, um, Craig Hodges, getting his story out there and everything else. My thing is, because I'm always going to make money, is to now try to get my people in a position too. Because I teach everybody, if you're the only one at the table eating, you're not a boss, you're a target. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if I, I like fall, and if I'm the only one eating, how you gonna help me out? Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, most definitely. I have a quick question. You were spending a lot of knowledge about um, the business and in the industry and music and all of that stuff. As a as an upcoming artist, what is more important, right off that, a manager or a publicist, and why? All right, I will go. What's more important than all of them is your paperwork because if you get your paperwork together your manager your publisher your record label cannot swindle you mm-hmm. you know and the majority of people swindle they're just like who you with ASCAP or BMI which one you with you asking me yes ASCAP alright have you ever did a show yes yeah. did you turn into that, that yeah. show into ASCAP because anytime you I perform did. in front of more than 10 people you're supposed to turn into your show For sure. a lot of people don't do that alright catalog and all of your performances you're supposed to turn into your show a lot of people don't do that all right, catalog all your performances. Give with Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange is a nonprofit organization mandated by the government to collect digital performance rights. Give with your publisher. When you're rapping or singing on somebody's tracks, pull out the split sheet. The producer might say, well, it's all good, but that song um, become a hit. They can lie like they never gave you permission. So handle your business off top. Mm-hmm. You got any features, pull out them split sheets. Songwriters get this much, producers get that. Now, once you get your paperwork together and you learn the industry, then you go towards a manager because a manager has to manage something. And if you have really nothing going on, what is they going to manage? Mm-hmm. And what was your other one? Uh, publicists? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> just get with somebody that you can basically trust, you know. I recommend this guy called Jay Shields, but he's plenty more good people out there. <laughs> you know, but get with somebody that you can trust. But first of all, paperwork together. Get with somebody like a Wally Lockhart. If he don't know, which most definitely he'll know, then you got a Ray Chantel. Then, worst case scenario, you got a Jay Shields. He is kind of nonchalant and funny at times, but he is, he's a pretty good guy. Okay, most definitely, most definitely. So, look, tell the people where they can find you. Once again, tell them what you got coming up, what you promoting, because I know you're doing big things, so it's definitely worthy of saying two or three times. So run it back one more time for us. All right, you can find me at jshieldspromotion.com. For social media, it's at jshieldceo. What I'm doing is I'm dropping 50 albums, mixtapes, or compilations, and I'm putting people on. People ask me, well, how you going to make money? I just smirk because I'm like, this album going to be um, in different states. How am I going to make money? I'm going to have everybody saying Jay Shield and put them on because on each one of them albums, it's going to say 
Urban Grind Radio at J Shields presents. Um, Lil Rock Obama at J Shields presents. CEO Miami Mike at J Shields presents. DJ Miss Hypnotic at J Shields presents. So, um, when you have and tens of thousands of CDs floating around and hundreds of thousands of CDs floating around, that's cheaper than running radio commercials, TV ads, and everything else. So not only am I helping, everybody's becoming a part of the street team, so we're building up each other. And shouts out to Sid Williams with uh, GMT um, and Yo Diddy, because they got some nice projects coming out. Also be on the lookout for Zia, Zilla, and Mackie. Well, Maggie is the new boy now, so it's a big thing is going on. For sure, for sure. Well, once again, y'all, it's been another episode of Urban Ground Radio. Look, all artists who are serious, you got your paperwork together, you you really on this grind, yes. hit up your man Jay Shields. You yes. will not be disappointed. My name is Johnny Dimitri. I am the home girl, the queen of the ghetto gospel, the soul sister, your favorite cousin. And look, me, myself, I have a single drop in May 5th, all for me. It's available for pre-sale on April 28th is going down. The, the R&B scene is going up because I, to the left of me, I got Brie Nikhil. And what you got going on, baby? Oh, baby, I have so much going on. r and Bree is being released this summer. Um, that's my second album or first album. I have an EP before that called Vivid. Um, I do have a song that I released in March with Johnny Dimitri. Mm. It's called Play It Safe on all streaming platforms. Look out for that video that's on the way next month. Yeah, and um, R&B is not dead. Who Definitely do we have to not the dead. Love? We keeping it alive. For everyone, you know, just reach out to me. But I always remember my golden rule. Don't come to me talking about how much is beneficial for both ends and this, that, and this. I know what I bring to the table, so you ain't got to come trying to finesse and everything. Um, as far as the R&B artist that's listening, you know, get your music to KDR 100. It's a non-stop R&B and classic soul radio station. We done interviewed a lot of people from the Bobby Womans to the Calvin Richardson's. So, you know, get your music over there. I'll let DJ Miss Hypnotic, she'll take care of you and everything else. You know, let's network, come to me the right way. You come humble, I stay humble. You come arrogant, you see the other side of me. <laughs> I know, that's right. Well, once again, y'all, it's Wednesday, it's Urban Grind Radio, and we out. Love you, peace. Yo, yo, what's going on? This your boy, not your boy, the big CEO, Jay Shields, Mr. Make Things Happen. Man, it's finna go down. Right now, you're listening to Urban Graham Radio. Get down and lay down.